Hey everyone, how are we doing? Uh, so I wanted to show off my Crowded Orbits Kerbal Space Program save. Uh, basically I'm trying to stuff low curb in orbit with as much space junk as I possibly can uh, using these rockets which I've dubbed the USS Hot Mess. Um, underneath that fairing there's a, a sort of a main stage that has four uh, rows of six uh, rocket bodies with tiny little spark engines on them uh, and we'll deploy those in, in sequence later you'll see. Um, but as we ascend, just pay attention to, uh, you'll see these peaks behind us at how crowded uh, the, the orbital space is that we're moving into. And that's the, the whole point of this. I think Kerbal Space Program's debris limit is 10,000. Right now I've uh, got it up to 2,430 or something like that. So there's still plenty of room to go. I'm, <laughs> I'm reaching the upper limits of my hardware, however. Uh, also, this was not a, a particularly graceful ascent. You just saw... I almost just got uh, bludgeoned by my own middle stage. And here we can see the uh, the actual main stage, uh, that structure that I talked about with those four rows of six. Uh, and they're scalloped like that because otherwise uh, when, we, uh, when we throttle up those engines and then uh, before we decouple, uh, it was winding up burning the, uh, the stages below it. So couldn't have that. And... Uh, yeah, I guess I want to take this opportunity while we're coasting into orbit to apologize for my lack of finesse in uh, editing this video. I'm not a video person. I'm an audio person for the most part. Uh, so apologies there. We're going to spend a long time, I think, on one of these views coming up. So just bear with me. Uh, but I'm going to take that opportunity to shout out uh, one of my other projects, which is called uh, Close Call Bot. It's a Twitter bot that monitors uh, the University of Texas's conjunction streaming service demo and anytime it detects uh, two pieces of space junk that are within a quarter mile it'll tweet that out uh, along with uh, some information about each of those pieces of space debris. Um, it's pretty it's pretty cool it happens more frequently than I would like uh, and that's kind of why I made this thing. Um, and so I'm doing this save actually partially because I feel like Kerbal Space Program players are aspirational. There's a lot of talk about, you know, responsible orbiting and, and deorbiting. Um, and I wanted to uh, see what would happen if, if uh, you sort of flew in the face of that tradition. Um, and also, I want to see at the end of this, once I reach my hardware limits, is there a way, is there a, a, a craft that I can build that's sort of a harvester that will gather these things up and uh, then deorbit them uh, as sort of an... A reusable craft of sorts. Uh, so if you have any ideas for that, if you have any ideas for uh, hardware, oh, and also we're going to jump pretty quickly to uh, a cut that I made, which I apologize for, but it's going to happen quick. So don't don't be jarred. But if you have any ideas for uh, this mission or uh, that upcoming, you know, the harvesting mission uh, or how I can improve my hardware, um, please, please, please let me know in the comments or on Reddit where I'll be posting this. And here we are, we're about to deploy our first couple of stages. And you'll see the top stages roll off each other. Woo! I love that. And we're pointing normal because I wanted to uh, get an inclination of 2.5, uh, around 2.5, because I figure um, the, if, if there's a little bit of an inclination, it'll look more like these... Uh, these pockets of debris are moving against each other and not so much in parallel orbits. Give it a more uh, exciting sort of field. And here, we're going to do our middle stages now. And uh, these are, we're going to get some fireworks. So get ready. One of my favorite parts. Also, I disabled the sound, so forgive my sound effects. Um, but that's, that's going to happen. How's that? Good stuff? All right. And we're going to zoom out now to take a look at uh, sort of the shape of this plume. Those are all the uh, pieces of space debris that we've created from this launch alone. I, I haven't done the math. I think it's a little different every time depending on how the explosions pan out. And uh, just zooming out now to take a look at how that plume gets sort of distributed into the orbital goo, the uh, the sludge that I'm, I'm trying to create here. Uh, we're going to jump now, and then you can see how far away the uh, the main vessel has moved from its children, so to speak. And here's our tracking station, just so you can get a look at the the full view, because I think uh, when you're in the ship view, it only renders a certain, you know, however many are within a certain distance. This is all of it. Um, 
2,340 pieces of space debris from 92 launches, or maybe 91 because there was a non-USS hot mess launch in there. Um, but look at that. Yeah, I'm really proud of uh, what I've accomplished so far. And I'm, I'm kind of sad that my hardware is, is reaching its limits. So I would really love uh, any advice for, for taking the next step to maximize that. Uh, thanks so much for watching. And uh, yeah, just enjoy the, uh, the cosmic ballet that I've got going on here. Oh boy. And I kept this part in because it's a little trippy. Uh, but that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys.